Hey guys, my name is Jason Marquez, and I have teamed up with my basketball teammate Greg Brown. We are here to discuss the NBA playoffs and how I think the Cavaliers will beat the Warriors. No, seriously, we are here to discuss two different pieces of artwork from Baruch Art. I chose the work called Daniel in the Lion's Den by Peter Paul Rubens. The Old Testament recounts the story of Daniel and how he ended up in the Lion's Den. Basically, the Persian king Darius the Great condemned Daniel to spend the night in the lion's den for worshiping God rather than him. I'm guessing I would have been in the lion's den with him. But back to the story. The next day, the Persians rolled away the stone sealing the lion's den and were surprised to see that Daniel was still alive. Daniel then began to give thanks to God for keeping him safe overnight. Then said Daniel unto the king, Live forever, my God has sent me his angels and has shut the lion's mouth that have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me. Innocency, innocent, ah, uh, he was innocent. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Theologians believe that Daniel's survival in the cave symbolized the resurrection of Christ from his tomb and the promise of God's protection to those of unwavering faith. I chose this piece because I'm a fan of Baruch art and how they introduce a lot of emotion and action into their artwork. What caught my attention was the expressions on the lion's faces and how they looked mad and angry and hungry, but were unable to eat Daniel. You can also see Daniel praying to God. I believe that if he was saying, please don't let these beasts eat me. It's funny that you also see human remains from other peoples that the lions ate. Thank you for listening. I will now hand it over to my main man, Greg Brown. Hello, my name is Greg Brown, and the piece I chose to do my video on is from Michelangelo Maresi, also known as Caravaggio. This piece is called the Entombment. It was made in 1603, created with oil on canvas. I decided to pick this piece because of the theoretical emotion it shows. Also, the attention of lighting shown from the main character made me interested. It contrasts with the other characters showing the importance of the main character in the painting. This piece is from the Baroque period and it represents the dramatic split between the Roman Church. The division was between Catholicism and Protestantism. This piece is a counter-reformation painting that depicts mourning. The piece could also emphasize the laying of Christ's body. According to Zufi Stefano, Caravaggio's entombment of Christ was not a burial because of the body of Christ is not being lowered into a tomb, but instead being laid on a stone slab. One of the characteristics of this piece was how the attention was exact and the details were very naturalistic from the painting. This piece is now located in Santa Gotica, Vatican City, where you can view it at the Church of Santa Maria in Valencia, where it is hung up for display. I hope you learned a lot from our video. Thank you for listening.